Hello friends, welcome to my channel GIS Nepal. Today I am going to show how we can find the zonal division of any land in the world using Google Earth, which is helpful for finding out the right coordinate system at your desired catchment, either in, uh, in GIS, catchment in GIS, either in RGIS or in QGIS. Uh, here I am talking about the, the coordinate system is um, the UTM universal transfer marketer and you all know the origin i hope you all know the origin of this coordinate system this is the intersection of equator and the central meridian let us see the origin in google earth uh, i hope you will see the this google earth this is the google earth and uh, how you can see the origin of this uh, the uh, the utm zone uh, it's in here in Google Earth. We can find the equator and the the, the central meridian intersection. Uh, let us go to tools and option, and uh, uh, the coordinate system is in. Um, let us make it in decimal degree first, and apply and okay. Here it is the equator, and where is the the central? Here, here it is prime meridian. Yeah, this is the this is the origin okay uh, and uh, we don't know the zonal distribution of this any land till now we don't know uh, why we need that zonal distribution let us go first to the switch to the GIS and then we'll come back again um, okay new here and it's in the arc GIS let us go to arc map here this is the 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 arc map and i am going to add some data for example i have the world data uh, uh, i have some world data let us add the world lakes okay i have folder called to all data and here it is the old administrative data let us add this one and let me add another for example world lake data okay all lakes data then make it the blue color okay and uh, uh, actually we don't need this old administrative data and these are the uh, popular lakes in the world and we can take these lakes from the the, the attribute table here it is written and if i want to find the zonal distribution of let us say the make it this uh, ascending order and the caspian sea okay caspian sea here it is the caspian sea and uh, if I want to find out the zonal distribution, zonal distribution of this uh, this Caspian Sea, then we need to go to the Google Earth again. New share and Google Earth. Share this one, and uh, let us find the Caspian Sea. See here. Okay. This is equator and it is in the northern side of the equator. And here it is the Caspian Sea here. It is the Caspian Sea and till now we don't know the zonal distribution of this sea. Zonal distribution of this sea. Let us switch to the ArcGIS again. New sail and uh, Arc map. Okay, Caspian Sea. Let us clip out this one first. The the, the Caspian Sea. Uh, search. We go to the search and then type here clip CLIP clip. And here in clip analysis, input feature is the world lakes and the clip feature is also the world lake. The, the clip feature. Let us write the name of the clip feature. This is CLIP clip SPN. Okay. 
and we can check the coordinate system of this clip or, or the world lakes. Here it is given the geographic coordinate system GCS WGS 1984 and the datum is also the WGS 1984. Here it is written DD means decimal degree. <coughs> okay. Now, uh, why we need uh, this, uh, uh, the, the zonal area of this Caspian Sea? The, if we want to change this project, this, this uh, um, source geographic coordinate system into UTM, let us say the UTM, UTM coordinate system, uh, projected coordinate system, then go to the search and uh, source and this i think we are in the the art map okay good in the source and then project 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 data management and the input feature is the the clip caspian and the input coordinate system is cgs uh, GCS WGS 1984 and the output coordinate system output feature class let us say UTM UTM Caspian the output coordinate system is here it is the geographic coordinate system and projected coordinate system now we are projecting this say pile means projected coordinate system to UTM zone UTM zone and in, from UTM, and the datum is WGS 1984. Uh, okay, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. We all know from this, from this Google Earth, from this Google Earth, what we all know is this is in the Northern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere, and let us switch to the ArcGIS again, Art Map. Uh, map and the northern hemisphere there are 60 zonal distri distribution uh, for whole world and uh, it's having six degree and uh, mm, we don't know where the Caspian Sea lies for that we again need to go to the the Google Earth and here it is the let me share let me close this one and the new share Google Earth Pro and uh, for that zonal distribution we need to go to the tools options and we should make it universal transfer marketer apply and okay and here it is the zonal distribution this is the 39 and Caspian Sea, most of the area of this Caspian Sea belongs to 39 and we can make it uh, in the, the ArcGIS new sayer ArcGIS art map the output coordinate system is projected UTM WGS 1984, Northern Hemisphere, and it's in 39 yen. 39 yen. Yeah, this is the right one. And we don't need to transfer it geographically because the datum system for this, both the WGS uh, geographic coordinate system and projected coordinate system is WGS. WGS. So we don't need to transfer it geographically. Then click OK. Now we have the projected coordinate system of this projected save file of this Caspian C. We can take it from this uh, properties, <coughs> layer properties, in general, and source is here it is in meter. Okay, this is in meter. And WGS 1984 UTM zone 39 yen transfer marketer. Uh, I hope you all enjoy this video uh, thank you